Hey, this is Aiden with Workman Firearms. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to disassemble and reassemble the 1911. First thing you wanna do when you come up to any firearm is clear it. Remove that source of ammunition. Lock that slide to the rear. Physically and visually inspect that chamber. Inspect the magazine well. And one last time, physically and visually inspect that chamber. Firearms cleared. Send the slide forward. Press the trigger, allowing the hammer to fall. From this position, rotate so your firearm is pointing upwards. Take your bushing wrench, or you can use your hands. Apply slight pressure to the recoil spring plug. Rotate your barrel bushing to the nine o'clock position while keeping constant tension on your recoil spring plug. Do not allow it to spring up. Slowly release. Remove your recoil spring plug. Remove your recoil spring. Take your barrel bushing and rotate it to the four o'clock position. Pull up and out. Your barrel bushing will be removed. Push your slide to the rear position so the second crescent moon aligns with your slide stop plunger. Just like so. Press with your finger on the slide stop so it comes up halfway. And then pull your slide stop out the remaining way. From here, push your slide forward. Your firearm will break down into two separate components. Put your frame down. Take out your guide rod. Push your barrel forward. We'll slide right out. Put down your slide. Your firearm has been fully disassembled. To reassemble, we're gonna do it in the reverse order. Pick up your slide, push that barrel back, make sure that it is fully seated. From here, put in your guide rod, make sure that the crescent moon is down towards your barrel. From here, pick up your barrel bushing, rotate it to the three, four o'clock position, push it in, rotate it to the nine. From here, pick up your recoil spring, put it onto your guide rail. Now make note to your barrel link. When putting your slide on your frame, you need to make sure that the barrel link lines up within your slide and your frame. Line up your slide with the guide rails. Now from this position, you're gonna look through the frame of your firearm, make sure that you can see clearly through your barrel link and out to the other side. Take your slide stop, and you're gonna push it in halfway. Apply slight pressure. Make sure that it is an only in and a half way and you can see about a quarter gap. From here, move your slide to the rear so the crescent moon is aligned with your slide stop plunger. Just like so. Using slight pressure, you're gonna push in your slide stop. It'll click right into place and then you can push your slide forward. From here, you're gonna take your recoil spring plug, set it on your recoil spring, and push it down so it lines on top of your guide rod, and then rotate your barrel bushing so it catches that recoil spring plug. From this position, using your hands or a bushing wrench, place it over that barrel bushing Apply slight pressure 
and rotate it to the six o'clock and 12 o'clock position so it is straight up and down. Make sure that the recoil spring plug is aligned. Now we're gonna perform a functions check. Rack that slide once, press the trigger, you should hear the hammer fall. Using constant pressure, hold down that trigger and rack the slide once more. Slowly release the trigger and listen for the reset. Your firearm just passed a functions check and has been fully reassembled. Thank you.